Slay the sacrifice. Lord Dagon thirsts for blood. During the Dagon Shrine questline in Oblivion, Rumor Cameron will require you to kill a bound Argonian named Julius in a sacrificial ceremony to prove your unflinching devotion to Mayrune's Dagon, stating, You have come to dedicate yourself to Lord Dagon's service. This pact must be sealed with red drink, the blood of Lord Dagon's enemies. Take up the dagger and offer Lord Dagon the sacrificial red drink as pledge of your own life's blood, which shall be his in the end. Lord Dagon thirsts for red drink. Sate him. You can, of course, simply comply and sacrifice the unconscious Argonian by stabbing him as intended <laughs> and become a momentary member of the Mythic Dawn. Well done. You are now a member of the Order of the Mythic Dawn, one of the Chosen. Your life belongs to Lord Dagon. However, as the main quest requires the player to steal the Mysterium Xarxes and will see the hero locked in the caverns if they do not, this membership is ultimately short-lived, and upon retrieving the book, the statue of Mayrun's Dagon comes crashing down and would most likely crush a poor Julius anyway. Did you, you won't get away with this? Xarxes, kill him! <sighs> If instead we choose to revive the Argonian, we will then have the uphill task of keeping him alive as the dozens of mythic dawn descend on us. The time of cleansing is almost here! The time of the dawn is breaking! You are weak like the god you break! The dawn is breaking! Understandably, Julius, when he comes to, will be disoriented about what happened to him and reveal his identity. What is this place? Arke preserved me. Oh, I remember now. Hooded men grabbed me as I was leaving the temple. We must get out of here. Come on! Speaking to him again before we escape from the mythic dawn, he will say in a panic, By all that is holy, we must step out of this hellish place. Once Julius is out of harm's way, he will thank us, knowing that he would have died if we didn't intervene. Thank you for saving me, friend. I don't know who you are, but it is clear that Akatosh guides you. I am a priest in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. Perhaps our paths will cross again one day. If we ask him about the Mythic Dawn, he will reveal he wasn't even aware of what the group that kidnapped him was called. Is that who they were? All I know is that they intended to sacrifice me to their dark god. If only I could erase the memory of that hellish place. Out of harm's way and the caverns, and Bye. marked by providence, Julius saunters off, presumably never to be seen again. But that isn't so. Julius's vocation as a priest at the Temple of the One would later reveal the Mythic Dawn's motivation. As we're attacked by the many Mythic Dawn sleeper agents in retribution for our slight against Lord Dagon, it's at the Temple District we can find Julius at the very Temple of the One in the Imperial City, which he mentioned he was a priest of. Hi. Of course, it's some time before he finds his robes, after which he will more properly thank us for saving him earlier, saying, My friend, it is good to see you again. You risk your life to save me, a stranger. You are truly among the blessed of Arke's children. As a small token of my gratitude, please allow me to share with you some of my small store of knowledge of the healing arts. It's then we're rewarded with a skill boost in alchemy plus one, mysticism plus one, and restoration plus one, as long as our skill level in those skills are less than 90. Be seeing you. Returning to Julius, he will occasionally greet us, saying, Arke's blessings upon you. 
Of course, as all things being ordained by the gods, as it is at this very temple that Julius was first ambushed, does the mythic dawn's deity, Mayrun's Dagon, manifest and battles with the dragon god Akatosh for the very soul of Cyrodiil at the completion of the main questline. Thank you for saving me, friend. I don't know who you are, but it is clear that Akatosh guides you.